Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tips. So first of all, I'd like to thank you all of you guys for subscribing to my channel. So we have already crossed 1900 subscribers and we are about to reach 2000 subscribers. So that's all because of you guys. So thank you very much. And also help me reach that 200 mark by subscribing to this channel. So if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button and I'd be very thankful to you guys. Also, I publish new videos every Monday and Friday. So if you want to learn more about Laravel, PHP and other stops regarding web development, then just hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel. So now without any further ado, let's begin this video. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own log file in Laravel. So if you are aware that Laravel ships with a default laravel.log file and any error that appears in our project that will be saved to this log file. So let me show you an example here. So let me just throw an exception here. And now let me go to the browser and just refresh the page. So now you can see here it has thrown an exception. Yeah. So now if we go here in laravel.log, so it will have all the logs of that in this laravel.log. But let's say in our application, we have performed some actions and we want to store the log of that in a separate file. So by default, it will store the log in the same file. So we don't want everything to be logged in the same file. So because of that, we want to create a separate log file where we want to log the specific things. So now let's have a look how to do that. So let me go here and just remove this one for now. And let me also remove this one. So just uh, before creating a new log file, I'd like to show you that how you can log to the Laravel. So we can also do log and it is imported here. And we can say here info and you can say here hello world. Now if I refresh the page here and now if you see here guys, this thing is logged in this Laravel.log file. So it is logging in the same file. Now let's see how we can create a separate log file. So you have to go into this logging that PSV file which is inside this config logging okay so by default laravel uses this stack channel so whatever we have defined in this log channel dot env file so if anything is not present in that log underscore channel then it will take this stack one so if you look here in the dot env then you can see here, here that it is taking the stack yeah so if we don't specify anything also it will take stack but but we have specified here stack so it will take this stack as well so if we look here in the stack so it will select from these channels and since we have specified here stack it will take this and it will just log everything data in this single channel and if you look here this channel yeah so from inside this channel we can write anything from here the single daily or slack yeah and if you look here single then it will store whatever the log in this laravel.log file so it is inside the storage path and logs and laravel.log which we can see here inside the storage path logs and laravel.log file so now we can create our own channel so let me just copy this one and i'll paste it here so instead of single let me say here custom and instead of this laravel.log let me say custom.log and let me keep this as it is i'll show you the uses of this as well a little bit later now let me go to the dashboard controller here and now here we'll just add channel and we'll give the name of the channel that we have created which is custom and now everything is same on the right hand side so it's just info hello world now on custom log file so now if i go here in the browser and refresh the page now if we go here in this logs folder so you can see here a custom.log file is created and if you see here inside it's hello world or custom log file and if we see here in the laravel.log it is just our previous one logging so it, it hasn't logged it here so it has just logged in our custom.log file so so guys in this way you can create a custom log file and log into it so now let me show you the uses of that level so by default it is taking this debug yeah so we can just remove this now and let me say here critical so i'll also show you from where i got this value so before that let me show you how this works so now let me go ahead in that custom and remove this and if you see here in the dashboard controller i am saying here this is info okay now if i go here in the browser and refresh the page and now if i come here 
you can see here guys there is no log now if i say here in critical instead of info and now if i go here and refresh the page and again come here in the custom log now you can see here guys it is logged which means that we can define a level and anything below that level this logging will not log and since the info is at lower level than that of the critical so it wasn't logged here so let me show you so from where i knew about those levels so if you go here in the laravel documentation and see in this log levels you can see here the levels yeah so it's it starts from emergency and it goes into the debug so if you have this label if you so see here in here in the logging.php so i have here critical yeah so so it is here so anything below this will not show in this critical so just after critical is error so if i just say here error and just try to print it so let me just rename this and refresh the page here now if we see here in this custom this it will not show here because it is below critical now if i try to use this emergency here and let me also write here emergency come here and refresh the page here and if i come here and look into the custom so you can see here guys we can see that log here so you can uh, choose any label that you want and start logging messages in the custom log files so i hope you enjoyed this video guys if you enjoyed this video then please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also hit subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this thank you for watching have a great day bye